Learn Spanish. Today we're going to talk about the present subjunctive with ojalá or ojalá que practice. Aprendiendo español, practicando el presente del subjuntivo usando ojalá u ojalá que. Hola, en esta lección vamos a practicar la O en el acrónimo weirdos. In this video lesson, we're going to practice using the O in weirdos, which stands for Ojalá or ojalá que. Ojalá means I wish, I hope, some people might say God willing. It is used to express a desire such as if only he would. Ojalá can be followed by que or not. Remember that ojalá is always followed by the subjunctive when there is a second will. According to the Real Academia Española, Ojalá is used without que because only those who are not cultured use it with que. Well, at least both ways are accepted. So, now I will give you a sentence or question and you pick which verb should be used. Watch out since I might use sentences or questions that might use the indicative form of the verb. Let's see if you can choose the correct verb. Let's begin. Ojalá que los, between parentheses, ellos, comprar, a, compran, b, compren. Bien hecho. If you chose B, compren. Why? Because when you use ojalá, you use it to express a wish for something. And because the statement that follows only describes an event or action that is wished for, such as that she might buy them, and not necessarily one that will occur. So it falls into the realm of hypothetical situations and requires the subjunctive. Ojalá que nosotros, between parentheses, tener lluvia. A. Tenemos. B. Tengamos. Great work. B. Tengamos. Why? Because ojalá triggers the subjunctive mood. Ojalá que, between parentheses, tú hablar con tu madre. A. Hablas. B. Hables. B. Hables. Nice work. Why? Because ojalá is used to express a wish for something. And because the statement that follows only describes an event or action that is wished for. Such as that you might speak to your mother. And not necessarily one that will occur. It falls into the realm of hypothetical situations and requires the subjunctive. Ojalá que mi gato no se, between parentheses, comer mi tarea. A. Coma. B. Come. A. Coma. Great work. Why? Because ojalá is an expression of hope or hopefully and triggers the subjunctive mood. Ojalá, between parentheses, nosotros comprar un carro nuevo. A. Compremos. B. Compramos. A. Compremos. Bien hecho. Why? Because the expression ojalá is used to express a wish for something. And because the statement that follows only describes an event or action that is wished for, such as that we might buy a new car and not necessarily one that will occur. It falls into the realm of hypothetical situation and it requires a subjunctive. Es claro que ya nos, between parentheses, faltar ciertas libertades. A. Falten. B. Faltan. Nice work if you chose B. Faltan. Why? Because the expression es claro expresses 
a perception which leads to belief in the veracity of the statement that follows, such as that we already lack certain freedoms. Because of this belief, the statement is presented as an objective fact, and therefore we use the indicative. Ojalá que nosotros, between parentheses, ganar la lotería. A. Ganemos. B. Ganamos. If you chose A, ganemos, correct. Why? Because ojalá needs the subjunctive mood. Ojalá aún, between parentheses, quedar boletas para el mundial. A, quedan. B, queden. B, queden. Muy bien. Why? Because ojalá is used to express a wish for something. And because the statement that follows it only describes an event or action that is wished for, such as that there might still be tickets remaining for the World Cup, and not necessarily one that will occur. It falls into the realm of hypothetical situations and requires a subjunctive. No dudo que nosotros, between parentheses, ir al Perú en dos semanas. A. Vayamos. B. Vamos. B. Vamos. Correct. Why? Because the phrase no dudo expresses certainty and uses the indicative Mood. Ojalá que mis estudiantes, between parentheses, terminar de hacer la tarea. A. Terminen. B. Terminan. If you chose A, terminen. Nice work. Why? Because the expression of ojalá is used to express a wish for something. And because the statement that follows it describes an event or action that is wished for, such as that my students might finish their homework and not necessarily one that will occur. So it falls into the realm of hypothetical situations and requires the subjunctive. Es cierto que, between parentheses, ella venir mañana. A. Venga. B. Viene. Well, if you chose B, viene, bien hecho. Why? Because es cierto que conveys the feeling of certainty and it uses the present indicative. Es obvio que no, between parentheses, nosotros ser capaces de llegar a un acuerdo. A, somos, B, seamos. If you chose A, somos, that's the correct answer. Why? Because the expression is obvio expresses a perception which leads to a belief in the veracity of the statement that follows, that we are not capable of coming to an agreement. Because of this belief, the statement is presented as an objective fact by means of the subjunctive. Ojalá que el camarero, between parentheses, traer la cuenta pronto. A. Trae. B. Traiga. Correct answer is B. Traiga. Why? Because the phrase ojalá expresses personal bias or emotion and triggers the subjunctive mood. Ojalá que el médico, between parentheses, Star, a G, A, este, B, está. A, este, bien hecho. The phrase ojalá or hopefully implies uncertainty and triggers the subjunctive mood. Noto 
que las niñas, between paréntesis, ser felices. A. Son. B. Sean. If you pick A, muy bien. Son. The expression noto expresses a perception which leads to a belief in the veracity of the statement that follows, that the children are happy. Because of this belief, the statement is presented as an objective fact by means of the indicative. Es evidente que los estudiantes no, between parentheses, querer hacer la tarea. A. Quieran. B. Quieren. B. Quieren. Muy bien. Why? Because the expression, es evidente, expresses a perception which leads to a belief in the veracity of the statement that follows. For example, that the students don't want to do their homework. Because of this belief, the statement is presented as an objective fact by means of the indicative. Ojalá que tú, between parentheses, comprender el subjuntivo. A. Comprendas. B. Comprendes. Well, if you pecked A. Comprendas, nice work. Ojalá expresses emotion and triggers the subjunctive mood. Muy bien, that's it for this video practicing the O in weirdos. Ojalá and ojalá que. Hopefully, you found it helpful and let me know if you have any questions or comments about this video. Do not forget to practice your own sentences in the comments section below and also Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for updates on new Spanish video lessons. Gracias por ver mi video. Hasta el próximo video.